the worst things people have said. Where do we start? Trolls say I am not fit to be a parent because I am disabled. My pregnancy experience was one of the hardest things I have ever done, but I have this little beautiful lady. The negativity kind of had its peak during my pregnancy. Since Ari has been born, it's kind of just continued. People have even gone as far to make calls to Child Protective Services. Why do you continue to post on social media despite this kind of comments? This one's cute. That one's my favorite. It's a little romper. A little romper. Our daughter's name is Ari and she's four months old. Because she's a preemie, so she's very tiny, but she has a huge personality. She is beautiful. She's beautiful. Let me give you a kiss. <laughs> Noah and I have been dating for over a year now and we met on a dating app. We did not plan on being pregnant. All the way out, all three of them say yes. It was a complete surprise. It was definitely a huge lifestyle change for us, but we are enjoying every minute of it. I have a rare neuromuscular disease called spinal muscular atrophy type two. I have a defect on one of my genes where my body isn't receiving enough protein to make my muscles kind of work. Noah is one of my main caregivers and day to day he helps me with every aspect of my care. He helps me prepare food, he helps me shower, he helps me go to bed at night, he helps me clean. He does my hair sometimes. Yeah. My pregnancy experience was one of the hardest things I have ever done, but I have this little beautiful lady and it was such an amazing experience. I did have to do a few extra things because I'm disabled and pregnant. I had to go to the doctor once a week towards the end of the pregnancy just to monitor everything. We're about to have this baby. When I first saw Ari, it was one of the most amazing things in my entire life. My doctors were Alex, we have no idea how you got up in your wheelchair hours after this C-section. That was super intense for someone with my disease. And went to that NICU and saw her. When I first saw Ari, it was amazing. She was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's a magical moment. Is there anything uh, only either of you do for Ari? Noah uh, does a lot of stuff for Ari that I don't do for her because he is physically able to, such as change her diapers, pick her up out of her crib. We do have an assistant that helps us take care of Ari and the house and me as well, um, Nina, and she is amazing. Thank you very, very much. Are we gonna go for another two ounces? Products that I use to ensure that I'm involved with Ari's care is this changing table right here. We have it up on the table so that my wheelchair is able to access her. And this is how I feed her. This is how I play with her. Um, I also use a wrap. <laughs> I know, you're getting ready for a burp. Dad, we need a burp, please. Some misconceptions that people had about me being disabled and pregnant was that Ari was going to be born with a disability of some sort, or that I was going to die during pregnancy. Um, there, was, there was a lot of misconceptions, and Ari does not have the same genetic disease as me. Ari is not disabled. We have a lot of nicknames for her. Beef Hamlet, Beefcake, Fart Cake, Tootie. None that have to do with her actual name. <laughs> Trolls say I am not fit to be a parent because I am disabled. The negativity kind of had its peak during my pregnancy. Since Ari has been born, it's kind of just continued to um, go down that path, just negativity about us as parents and just basically anything we do with her is wrong. People have said some awful things to us since Ari has been born. 
Um, someone commented, I feel so bad for him because he has to take care of two people now. He looks like he is not ready. People make comments about me being a caregiver and caring for Ari as well. They basically say like, oh, you have to care for two people now. You're not going to be able to do it. It's going to be too much for you. Like, oh, you got to wipe two butts. Like, <laughs> how does it make you feel? Um, I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me. Someone said, when she is old enough, she has to care for you. So people assume that she's going to be my caregiver because I gave birth to a non-disabled child. And that's just a very common misconception that obviously isn't true. There's no plans of like, oh, I have an able-bodied daughter. She's gonna be like my caregiver. Like, no, I'm her mom. Like, I'm her caregiver. These comments can be a little upsetting when it's directed towards her daughter versus like, it's not as hurtful when it's directed towards us. People have even gone as far to make calls to Child Protective Services. So it was very frustrating to have these people in my home asking me invasive questions just because I'm a disabled parent on the internet. I'm sharing our lives. So it was a very hard thing to navigate with a new baby and being new parents, but we eventually got through it and obviously all the cases were unfounded. Why do you continue to post on social media? I continue to post on social media despite these comments because I am dedicated to breaking stigmas about disability and being a parent. Alex isn't gonna let those hate comments bring her down. She's just gonna keep going. That's gonna inspire her to go even further. Originally, we were supposed to do this pineapple get up, but we decided on this one. My choice was demoted. <laughs> okay. Well, good thing that that outfit is just as cute. <laughs> Perfect. Are we gonna go for a little walk? Yeah. All righty. Hello to the Missy. All right, no runaway buggies. When we're out in the public, we don't really outwardly experience any judgment because no one's gonna come up to us saying a hate comment you know people don't say that stuff to your face we're just like any other parents we just have a different dynamic do you like to have more children we do want to have more children yeah we do want to have more children definitely i don't know if i'm gonna go through with uh physical pregnancy again, that was a... Uh, it could be a surrogacy, it could be an adoption, but we'll see, we'll yeah. have another one. We want another one for sure, that's all we know. I'm just so fortunate and happy that I have the opportunity to be this gorgeous little lady's mom and that despite everything medical professionals telling me this is gonna be really risky, um, and everyone doubting me and Noah that we did it and we're just so lucky and happy to be a family. This experience has been amazing and I'm so happy I've gotten to do it with you. And I'm excited for many more years with you and Ari. Me too. I'm so excited. <laughs>